There are lingering questions about the safety of using so much chemical dispersant to break up the oil in the Gulf, even as life on some beaches is getting back to normal. In Pensacola, Florida, crowded beaches for the first time in months. A welcome sight for business owners who say the worst of the oil spill depression may have passed. I think we have more tourists. I've noticed a lot of people from out of town being here. The reality for most Gulf beaches is that oil from the BP blowout hasn't reached shore and probably won't. The massive effort to skim, burn, and break down the oil with chemical dispersants proving effective. Oil, uh, particularly fresh oil, globs to itself, and dispersants are soap. They break the oil into tiny little droplets and allow the bacteria to degrade it. Still, there are serious concerns about the possible toxic effects of Corexit, the primary dispersant used by BP. A congressional subcommittee says documents show Coast Guard officials allowed BP to use much more dispersant than previously reported, despite an order from the EPA to use it rarely. There has been an unprecedented underwater scientific experiment going on for months where toxic chemicals have been shot into toxic oil. But BP officials say the company did cut back on dispersant use after the government order and has worked closely with federal agencies since. We've had a, a, a formal process with the, uh, the Unified Command on Use of Dispersant since, since the very beginning and uh, that was based on a set of protocols that were agreed. And then in hard-hit Louisiana, where oil is still coming ashore and beaches are barricaded against even more, fishing guide Danny Ray worries about the long-term effect the dispersants will have on marine life and ultimately his livelihood. That's one of my biggest concerns. Everything that's happened here on the bottom is only time will tell. And we have reports this evening that a new wave of oil is actually coming ashore on the beaches here at Grand Isle. I can tell you everyone here will be watching that static kill procedure on Tuesday and hoping it finally kills this well for good. Russ? Of course, Don Teague in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Thank you very much.